you have done your, you've gridded your photo, you have um, advanced it and drawn it. So that's what's in front of me right now. Now this thing's much bigger, so it's in a small section. If I panned out, you would see my whole face. So um, know that this is bigger than what it looks like on here. It's just filling the filling the frame. Um, you have practiced your India ink with value scales and a smooth transition value. At this point, you're ready to start India inking on your final, um, on the on the paper that you have drawn your close-up portrait. If you do not know anything that I'm talking about, you need to reference my other two videos. Number one, grid that photo. Number two, ink that value scale. Um, so you need to go watch those two things um, so that you know what's going on. So notice I still have grid on some of this. I've erased my major grid lines through the area that I'm going to start in. And I'm going to start in on my eye. Now you're not going to freehand this. You are going to actually go in here and really look at the values that you see in the photograph, okay? In the photograph. I'm going to show you some really fun tricks. I have my India ink here. Remember, I have my darkest value, and then I've got more water added to create my lighter values. You can reference that in the previous video. Um, what you need to, So you know that information. Notice that I have this under a paper towel. If ever you're setting it on top of your artwork, make sure you have something under it, because if it spills, it's done. Uh, one thing that you need to know about India ink is if it's on there, it sticks. Ink is permanent stuff. It sticks to where it falls, so it's not going to lift up out of there. Um, you need to be cautious and careful with it. Um, so that's going to you're going to learn during the practice portion of this. But now you're ready for the final. I have my cup of water. I know it's dark, but it's it's still good enough to use. Keep that changed often. Um, this right here is my full India ink. I'm not going to need it unless I need to add more to my darkest dark. So I'm just going to put it to the side. I'm going to cap it off because you do not want to spill that on anything. Cap it. Put it away. Okay. Helpful tricks. Okay. This right here is rubber cement. Okay. This right here is so amazing. What we can do with this is unreal. You can take this stuff right here. And I can just kind of tip the side over like that. And I can take myself a brush like this. And I can go in there and I can dip it in there and kind of wipe it off a little bit. This dust dries fast. I can look for my light values. For instance, those pops of light in my eye. And I can brush this stuff on there. The area where my, um, where my glasses are right here. You see that? Okay, I can go in there and hit those light values where I want them. So this is going wherever your light values are, your widest whites, um, and it blocks things out. So when it dries, you'll be able to pick up and, lit and um, actually use some of those things. I see a light value right there. I see two light values on my eye. And you can do this all over. You can do it all over, guys. All over. Do not let that dry on there, okay? Take it, put it in some water, wipe it off, okay? Do not let that that stuff dry onto your brush because it will ruin it. You don't want to ruin all your brushes because you're going to need your brushes all year long. So I'm putting that over to the side. Now I'm going to grab, I'm going to let that dry, blow it on a little bit. Um, remember, we're working from light to dark, always light to dark. Um, so I'm going to start in by doing a wash of my first value across. So I'm going to go in here with my first value. I'm going to lighten that up. Your pencil marks will stay underneath this so you can still use them as a guideline. I'm staying inside my glasses frame right now. So I'm just kind of going in here and busting in all of this light, this first kind of gray tone. Our lightest values, remember, we used rubber cement to get those in there. I'm avoiding my um, the the um, whites of my eye. Okay, so I think that's good for now. I'll stay away from this area, 
and then I'm going to let that dry up and then we'll come. So you can see that this builds up pretty quickly and one large area gets done pretty fast. So you, um, you know, I did this in about five or six minutes. I don't expect you guys to get it done that fast, but this is just layering up and building up um, slowly and uh, progressively. So you guys can do that. I know you can because you guys are awesome. So make sure that you are layering up. You saw that I started with my light values and I gradually built up to darker values as I moved around and I will go back in and tighten things and uh, get them nice and neat and crisp and then um, we'll move on to the whole thing. So um, let me kind of, I'm going to stand back from this and then hold it up for you to see. Okay guys, so once you, um, once I kind of hold it back at a distance, you can see the difference here. Up close, things are kind of loose but as you pull back, things get really tight. So you can see how that's starting to translate within my eye there. Um, so it really does start to kind of make sense once you pull back from it a little bit, how this is gonna look and how it's gonna work. So I uh, keep that in mind as you're moving forward. It's gonna work out great. I am looking forward to it, guys. You got this.